Okay guys, the final part of the raid. Tutorial 6 of 6. If you've made it here already, congratulations. And let's try and get you to the end. We start off nice and easy. Touch the orb, bring out the huge oryx in the background. And there'll be some ads spawning. So we'll take out a few ads on the left and the right. They're all at the front here. Nothing's behind us. You then move on to two knights. One on each platform on the top. And before you even started, you should have decided who is on each of the four platforms. Now you get to decide who runs with the weird buff on, and you, they don't automatically pick. So you have one person already doing that, you have four people designated to platforms that they should know, and you have one person always in the middle helping with ogres on each run. So the he will punch one side after you clear the ads, he's going to punch this side, which means the person to my right doesn't have to go. You always start on the one he punches. The person who's going to take the buff goes first, followed by the person taking that platform. Then you go counterclockwise, so we went to the front left. Then we come to me on the back left, and now the back right doesn't need to be done. I'm not sure why, but you only need to do the three platforms, not the fourth one. Which means that that person on the back right now takes over in the middle, with the guy in the middle, to help on every ogre. You'll see they help me with mine, we all do this one together. The second the fourth over goes down, or the second the person grabbing the orb up the top tells you he's got it, you all jump off, you come straight to the middle, make sure all ogres are dead, right now they should all be dead, you kill the knight as quickly as possible, put on a sniper or a machine gun, look in his direction, again no weapons of light we have here, we didn't have it on Golgoth, we don't have it now, wait a few, at just half a second when his stomach opens because I've noticed sometimes he's immune, once he kills over like that you know you got it. The four people designated to their platforms run to these four orbs made by the ogre's dead body. You sit in it, count to three, that's always seemed to work for us, head straight back. If you're not back before the blast happens you'll get killed, but as long as you blow up your orb it's not too bad. Now DPS as much as you can, and then we repeat. Just after we finish all of that, we then have to split up completely. You can't be in near anybody else or you're going to get them killed. You keep moving. You'll see some green circles form around me on the floor. It's happening to everyone. He's trying to drop bombs or something like that. That's kind of what it seems like. But as long as you keep moving, you'll stay just out of the radius and you'll survive. If you run across someone else's path, you'll probably kill them. Still not a wipe. You can pick them up. It's not the end of the world, but try and avoid it. So the four people can take their four corners and... Well, the other two, I'm not really sure what they did. They just kind of got very close to people at times and tried to stay as best they could away from each other but when we get this done, when you get them down to half health this doesn't happen anymore so it only happens once maybe twice you'll feel the ground stop shaking so you'll know that it's finished and then you jump back in and do the same thing again so I will skip ahead in the video I'll let the video run of course but I'll skip ahead with my tutorial towards the end when things change a little bit so keep watching Okay, so after the second DPS, things are going to change. The bombs are gone. We did lose two players, but it's, fortunately it's not a big deal at this stage. This is the best time to have someone die. Once those four orbs have been blown up, they amplify your damage to him. So make sure you do get all four. But people dying beyond that is not a big deal because you get a bit of time here. You're either running from bombs or now this happens. If you're still outside of that black sphere, don't, do not walk into it. It will wipe you. Try and pick up anyone that's dead before you go in but you will get teleported in, you'll see me go in, 
there'll be a shade of oryx in there with a few ads try and stop these ads from going in because it makes it easier for people on the inside and eventually you'll all go you want to kill it as quick as possible if you take too long you'll wipe the whole team but once you're in there use swords when it's in the middle or otherwise just use guns try and use snipers if you have some spare ammo because it'll be a lot quicker towards the end I did I, I believe the health bar of the shade goes up because it did seem harder towards the end but I go in last this time so it's nearly dead already but you'll see it hides in the shadows sometimes it comes to the middle then grab your sword otherwise it hides in the shadows so just shoot it one more time it should be dead and then we go back out and this is now instead of the bombs so once this is done you just reset carry on as normal and back to the same routine you don't need the third person the fourth person sorry on the platform so the fourth person will join you in the middle it's always counterclockwise starting where he punches so you just need to call out who the fourth person was and make sure they know they should be in the middle always call out the order on what to jump on just in case someone's not paying too much attention and the person grabbing the buff always jumps on first same thing you get on you kill all of the ogres with the help from the two people in the middle make sure they're all dead then rush that knight kill him start dpsing again and then nothing really changes until you get to the very end of his health so I will jump ahead to there you will see one more run with the shade so you'll get a bit more time inside there to have a look at what happens and then yeah I will join you right at the end of this video and hopefully you've made it that far
Okay, guys. So, we are DPSing him. We have made him kill over for the last time. He's now freaking out. He knows he's dead. He knows he's made a mistake. Now, you want to rush straight down to the front middle here. Once you get him down so you can't really see his health bar, you know that he's going to pop up here. He's going to make one last, last ditch effort to just take all of you out. All you got to do, stand at the front, get ready. The second he opens up, you unload on him. And it shouldn't be that hard if you got yourself down to just wipe him out. Game over. He just flies off into orbit. And hopefully you will get some amazing rewards. So I really hope this video helped, because once we got the strategy down, it did not seem anywhere near as hard as it did before. So hopefully, yeah. But you're welcome to ask me any comments and uh, questions in the comments, sorry. And I will answer as best I can. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed all of the tutorial videos and they all helped you. Good luck, guys.